comic book movies have certainly grown up over the past few decades. While some might laugh at the more corny entries like Batman and Robin, the entire movie genre has spread out to include much grittier material when it comes to death, violence and general destruction. It's not like these are happy accidents either, with horror directors like Sam Raimi and Scott Derrickson being tapped to direct some of the more extravagant comic book productions in recent years. No matter how many times you watch an easy, breezy movie like Guardians of the Galaxy, there's always another that is willing to push the envelope and leave you in absolute shambles. These following movies are still a blast to watch for the most part, but when it comes to these few scenes, you might want to keep your guard up. I am the incredibly spooky Ash from What Culture Horror, which you should definitely go and check out if you like videos like this, and these are 10 terrifying moments in comic book movies. 10. Arrival of X-24 Logan as a typical superhero movie, Logan really belongs in its own separate category. Instead of any by-the-numbers fight scenes, this quasi-western shows Wolfie come into grips with his old age whilst trying to hang on to the heart of why he became a hero in the first place. While on the run from Donald Pierce, Logan, Dr. Charles Xavier and Laura settle down with a family who offer to take them in. But Logan ends up getting a different kind of visitor. Working together with Pierce, Dr. Xander Rice had been working on the next version of Logan known as X-24. Thinking that he's sharing a tender moment with his pupil, Charles graciously invites in X-24 before being savage killed by the clone. Though the scene that follows features some great one-on-one -on -one combat between X-24 and Logan, the incredible bait and switch from warm and inviting to all-out terror can leave any longtime fan in tears. Logan was already a pretty dour movie, but after this one moment, you know that Logan's next battle will be bittersweet at best. 9. The Death of the Joker Batman Beyond The Return of the Joker Though he may have met his end in many different iterations of the Batman saga, the most unsettling final moments of the Joker actually come from the animated series. In the animated movie Return of the Joker, we flash back to when the Joker kidnaps Robin and brainwashes him into being a mini version of himself. It already sounds messed up, but once you see young Tim Drake's face as the Joker, that demented smile is enough to make anyone's blood curdle. In an attempt to finally kill off the caped crusader, Joker enlists young Drake to kill his former mentor, only to have him come to his senses just enough to direct the lethal gunshot towards the sinister clown. Mark Hamill would end up playing the Joker several more times in the DCAU, but with just a few short gasps, the first brilliant iteration of the classic character came to a bone-chilling end. I should probably say now that there's a lot more Joker on this list. Understandable, really, considering, but yes, prepare yourself. 8. Venom is Born – Spider-Man 3 There's good reason why people laugh at Spider-Man 3 nowadays. From Peter Parker acting like My Chemical Spidey and the arrival of three separate villains, this one film ends up jumping the shark more than a few times over. The entire movie is lopsided, but when it comes to Venom, things get a lot darker incredibly fast. As he grows weary of what the black suit has turned him into, Peter goes to St. Patrick's Cathedral to shed himself of the symbiote, only to have it fight back mercilessly. Once it finally makes its way off of Peter, though, a nearby Eddie Brock instead becomes suffocated by the suit, in what can only be described as being waterboarded with venom fluid. For as many awesome moments are in this one scene, the campy nature of the rest of the film makes his switch into seriousness seem really out of place, and all the more scary for it. 7. Extremist Demonstration – Iron Man 3 Forget the whole Mandarin thing. If you want to see the real great villain of this movie, you just need to see what Aldrich Killian does to his cronies. While the entire motivation behind Killian is virtually ripped out of The Incredibles playbook, the extremist technology that he employs is not for the faint of heart. Rather than show a montage-like scenario with all of the henchmen being given new generational technology, the shoddy security footage used brings so much more realism to the scene. It seems like a pretty by-the-numbers villain clip at first, but when you start seeing some of the initial test subjects scream in agony as they spontaneously combust, you start to realise this movie is far darker than something you would normally associate with Disney Entertainment. Iron Man 3 is normally a bit hit and miss with hardcore MCU fans, but this one scene turns the more light-hearted superhero villain into an apathetic monster. 6. From Jack to Joker – Batman Jack Nicholson's introduction gets the horrifying aspects of the Joker down to a T. Going back to the original idea from the comics, the 1989 Batman depicts the Joker as a lowly gangster who ends up going insane after falling into a vat of chemicals, which turns his skin pale white. As he walks out of the surgeon's room after smashing a mirror, the laugh sends chills running up and down your spine. 
Rather than showing everything up front, having Nicholson veiled in shadows lets you build up the image of this psychotic clown in your head before he comes onto the screen. By the time Jack finally comes on screen, the peeled back smile and green hair he sports as he shoots down his original boss is the perfect combination of dread and comedy in one single scene. This Joker may not have been as gritty as the later versions, but for one shining moment, absolutely no one can hold a candle to Nicholson. 5. Not the only Winter Soldier, Captain America Civil War Captain America Civil War marked a huge turning point in the history of the MCU. Aside from the arrival of Tom Holland's beloved version of Spider-Man, the entire film is a case study on Steve Rogers and the lengths he will go to protect his longtime friend Bucky from the wrath of the government and his fellow Avengers. It's bad enough dealing with one Winter Soldier, but things open up once Bucky starts recounting his past. After being captured and tortured into becoming the Winter Soldier, Bucky explains the process of turning into a super soldier. While he ended up succeeding as the first experiment, the way the other recruits undergo their treatment is almost painfully clinical. Though Bucky and one of the doctors manage to escape the confines of the testing facility, the real disquieting part comes when we see a guard casually keeping watch as a soldier's cries are heard through the padded cell. Bucky was already a worthy adversary for the Avengers, but the idea of having these mindless killing machines roaming across the world may have been too much for even Earth's mightiest heroes to bear. 4. V's Message – V for Vendetta Based on the Alan Moore graphic novel of the same name, this movie presents British terrorist V as one of the most interesting anti-heroes of the modern age. He may have been considered the heart of the film, but many ended up feeling pretty uneasy once he made his way onto the air. By the time V takes over the television studio, we've gotten to know him as a mild-mannered and well-spoken gentleman. But this V is something entirely different. Though the diplomacy hasn't gone anywhere, the dark colours and imposing monologue against the rule of the Chancellor is both nuanced and terrifying all at the same time. This might not get a rise out of everyone these days, but this one has more to do with context than what is actually on screen. Arriving in the early noughties, this was one of the first movies that directly played into the public sphere of what a terrorist was, with a man who seemed to have a legitimate reason to inflict fear into the hearts of authority. Some people may have thought that the movie tried to rationalise this violent behaviour, but the only real fear in this case is knowing that not everything is black and white. 3. How about another joke, Murray? Joker Long before he took on the mantle of Arthur Fleck, Joaquin Phoenix was already known to be a pretty out there actor. From his brilliant performance in Her to the raw emotion he delivered in You Were Never Really Here, the man has kept up one of the most eclectic filmographies of this generation. Enter Joker after committing to the concept of being the Joker, Arthur fluctuates between jovial and intense as the scene plays out. Though the smile never leaves his face, you can see Phoenix toe the line between excitement and genuine anger with every passing question. As Murray gets more and more unsettled by Arthur's comments, Phoenix brews over with intensity until he finally pulls out a pistol and shoots the talk show host in the middle of his viewing audience. There have been plenty of deaths in superhero movies, but this is the one shot in recent memory that has felt the most real, as if you're in the front row watching everything go down. Arthur Fleck hedges his bets about his future the entire movie, but with just one shot, Arthur is killed forever and the era of Joker begins. 2. Doc Ock Lives – Spider-Man 2 Given his history with the Evil Dead franchise, it is thrilling to see Sam Raimi's chops work in a non-horror context in Spider-Man. While the first iteration of Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man was a lot of fun, the birth of Doctor Octopus in the second instalment shows Raimi at his horrific best. Though we've gotten to know Otto Octavius before the scene starts, things take a drastic turn when surgeons try to remove his four extra appendages. Developing a life of their own, these metallic arms attack the surgeons like venomous snakes, as they proceed to throw doctors and nurses around the room. For as much campiness is present in the Spider-Man trilogy, this one scene is a horror fanatic's dream come true, with nurses being dragged into a shadowy abyss, being thrown through walls, and one doctor managing to break free, only to meet his end by all four arms. 1. Gotham News Footage – The Dark Knight and yes, one more round for the Joker, please. He's a bit of a complex character, to say the least. Whenever adapted to the big or small screen, the Clown Prince of Crime has always been horrific, maniacal, and genuinely funny along the way. Though Heath Ledger did have his share of legitimately funny moments in The Dark Knight, you could hear everything become dead silent once you saw the clips from Gotham News. Having captured one of Batman's many imposters, the Joker films himself torturing the Good Samaritan and sends the clips to Gotham News, complete with shoddy audio and spine-chilling threats. Knowing the ins and outs of the character, this is one of the few scenes that Ledger actually directed himself, playing up to the more maniacal moments whilst never going too over the top. 
Other films try to scare you with monsters or grand plans of destruction, but sometimes all it takes is just a camcorder and one great actor to really leave an impression. And that's our list. Which scary moments in comic book movies also deserve a shout out? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. I've been Ash over on social media at Ash Millman, and this has been What Culture. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and come back again soon for some more spine tingling horror content. Thanks for watching.